Hey guys, today I'm going to be decorating my classic happy planner, but first I'm going to show you what last week turned out like, and this is the way it turned out. <laughs> um, I used one of these Pentel Sparkle Pop pens, the orange one, and I like these pens a lot. They write really well, but the ink does stay wet a little bit longer than other pens, so I use one of these blotter things. This is actually supposed to be for um, a printer. What? <laughs> but anyways, I use that to keep from the stuff getting everywhere if it's not completely dry. By the time I close it, all I do is just stick it on there and then I don't I try not to smear it, but if you press down, it will blot it up. Why am I telling you about that? I don't know. Maybe you have pens that don't dry as quick as you want. But I do have those, uh, like, I can't remember how many comes in a pack, but I have, I like those. That's what I'm trying to say. And I'll, I'll link them in my Amazon if y'all want me to. Just let me know if you want me to do it or not. Because maybe I should just go ahead and do it anyway. So I'm going to shut up about that now. This is the way it turned out. I really liked it. I think it's adorable. And I just I just like the way it looks. Uh, I know that there's places where there's just nothing there. But I don't mind that. I, I, it's good to see some space sometimes. But before I get started on what I'm doing, I forgot a couple things. Well, I know I forgot one. Let me see if I forgot the other. It's not that I forgot. It's just I forgot to mark it. Tomorrow which you've already, this, this is already passed, but is mine and Jeff's 29 year date anniversary, I guess, when we got together 29 years ago. So I'm gonna put that there, anniversary. And then I didn't mark Veterans Day, but I didn't mark anything like that. So I could have done this later, but I didn't mark Veterans Day. That's an important day. Which, like I said, this will be after this is over that y'all see this. That Well, it'll be this day. So the day you see this is Veterans Day. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and come over here and get the pages I need. I put lotion on my hands, so I hope that everything works out better this time. We shall see. We shall see. Um, I'm... I'm, I'm what? What did I say? I don't know. Y'all, I am in this weird mood, and I don't know why. This happens to me sometimes when I take a nap. I get confused. I don't know what to say. I don't know what I'm saying. I have not taken a nap, um, like, in the last little while, but I took a nap today, on Tuesday, the day I'm recording this. I took a nap today, and now it's like I'm all discombobulated. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm saying. The whole day's been like that ever since I woke up. It's a mess. Let's just say that. It's a mess. All right, this page right here I got out of this book, but it just fell out, so I was like, okay. I was going to use those anyway, but since it fell out, I just left it out. But I wanted to show you the book. This is Happy Memory Keeping, Dates and Holidays. It is uh, from 2017. And it's also where I got the anniversary and other sticker. So, getting all that out of the way. All that talked about. Hello and thank you. <laughs> what kind of mood? Okay, it's not a bad one. Got this stuff out of a seasonal sticker book. I actually out of two different ones. And this out of another one. I got this from a sticker sheet. They're Nash's Printworks. And these are as well. So that's what I'm going to be using for headers and for all my decorations for this time. And I'm going to be using these black date covers because I really don't know what else to use. This is from the Numbers and Days foiled ones. I don't really know what else to use. I could use this yellow orange right here. I think I will. I think I'll use that because it will give it a little bit more color and I don't know I don't do we need more color probably but this will be for the 14th through the 20th and I had something else that I was thinking oh goodness y'all every time I start doing something that thing hit my nose <laughs> I'm, I 
promise y'all, all I'm drinking is water. No, I don't feel drunk, but probably sound though. Sometimes I feel like I sound that way. But then whenever I go back and I edit, I'm like, no, you don't. You don't sound like that. It's just me. But yeah, I had a nap today. Because I got up, well, Jeff, okay, let's try that one again. Jeff swapped shifts. Maybe I'm trying to talk too fast. I don't know. Anyway, he swapped shifts. And since he swapped shifts this week, I'm trying to get used to it. My brain's trying to get used to it. My body's trying to get used to it. It's like, I don't know. And it's only been one day, but still, everything's all discombobulated already. And I think part of the reason why I feel that way is I was already feeling that way because I knew it was about to happen. It's like my brain and body anticipates this shock of him swapping shifts every single month, every month. And if there was a way that he could work one shift, that not third shift though, one first shift every day, I would be so grateful. But there's no way for him to do that at this job at this point in time. But I really wish that that's the way it was. He used to do that whenever, um, well, whenever we were first dating, his job was out of town. So I only saw him Thursday evening through Sunday because he would leave on Monday morning. And I would not see him again until Thursday evening whenever he would come home. Um... So, it was like just three days a week I saw him. But it was three full days. Which, that's the way our relationship started. So, it wasn't weird. Well, then, he got to where that he wasn't working like that. He was working um, close to home. You know, no more than an hour or so away. I'm going to put these up top. Ah, no, wait. Anyway, he was working like an hour away from home and only for a shift. And then right before he swapped jobs, he'd gotten to where he was working some night shifts. But it wasn't very much. It was just on one job that they had to do it. And he had never done it before. We had two small kids. And it was weird. Actually, no. Well, he had done it before. He had done it once whenever um, Noah was a baby before Selena was ever born because Noah was just a couple weeks old. I wasn't even supposed to be driving yet, but I drove to his job because Noah was crying because he, his, I don't, I couldn't figure it out. I had just had a baby. I was freaking out. I had nobody to help me and um, so... I drove to his job, and Noah heard his daddy's voice, and he just was quiet, didn't cry anymore. And this, this baby did not cry hardly ever. Noah was not a cry. Selena wasn't either. Neither one of them really cried much. Um, he didn't cry, but whenever his daddy swapped shifts like that, it was like, no, I'm not having this. This is not what I want. But that was the only night he did that. And then it was okay after that. But he didn't work that shift very long. It was just a very short period of time. So yeah, he has worked shifts like that before, but not for very long. Um, it was a place that they um, had to get done at night time. Well, anyways, carry on to before I'm doing today's and to do's so I can mix the colors and not have the same color um, because I didn't have enough otherwise. Anyway, carrying on to before he got this job, he was on first shift, and that's all he worked was first shift. Uh, and 
That's what we were used to. Selena was five whenever he started this job. He's been there, let's see. Oh goodness, how many years? Let me figure that out. Almost 18 years. Yeah, he's been there almost 18 years. And that's what I thought, but I didn't want to be wrong. So he's been swapping shifts. Oh, why? This is the last time I'm fooling with this thing. I'm going to pull it all the way up, though, this time. But anyways, when he first started working there, it was he would work two 12-hour shifts. Um, but it would be for months at a time. It wasn't swapping every month. Or anything like that well now oh goodness I guess that wanted to come on up I gotta stick it back down I don't have I can't do it yet but anyway it has changed several times since he started working there in all these years and it's always you know gone back and forth different shifts but for the last I want to say, well, a little over 10 years, he's been doing this swap every month kind of thing. And you can't, your body can't get used to it. His body can't get used to it. Mine can't. It's like, because, okay, whenever the kids were younger, they were homeschooled. So we would work around his we would change things around his schedule all right this is too large i knew it was going to be but i didn't know it was going to be that much too large i'm going to do this just because i want this actually no put it down here let me kind of get it in the center of this if i can but yeah um Because my children were homeschooled, or our children were homeschooled, we had the freedom to change up our shifts or schedules and stuff. So, we would sometimes do school work. Like, if he was on certain shifts, we would do school work. Like, if he was on second shift, we'd do it after he went to work. If he was on first shift, we did it in the daytime. If he's on third shift or second, uh, no third or first we would do it like at a normal time because he'd be sleeping or he'd be at work I didn't want to put this same color I don't want a color block so I'm putting this down here that may be weird it may be crazy but it's what I'm doing oh goodness but yeah, we always change our schedule for his schedule. Well, I've changed mine. The kids didn't have to as much as I did. Um, because they were kids. And I didn't have to. I could have stuck to the same schedule. But if I didn't, that meant that there will be times that I didn't really see him at all. That I didn't get to spend any time with him. And so I didn't do it. And shift work is no fun. Some people love it though. We do not love it. It is not our cup of tea, so to speak. It's not our thing. Even though it's our thing. It's not what we prefer. And they did a survey a little while back about um the shifts and stuff i don't know what's gonna happen or if anything's gonna happen there's been rumors of different things but nothing has actually happened yet so who knows i don't know and i know y'all don't know I don't know how I got on that subject, but I just did. Oh, 
Uh, let's see. Now, these are the kinds of stickers that I've chosen. These are for the sidebar. That's what those are for. Oh, goodness. And I'm thinking that this one will probably be for the sidebar as well. Because I don't need much over there. And I just thought about something. I don't have any sort of dinner sticker. I didn't take out anything for dinners. So let me look and see what I might have right here. I've got these, but I don't really want to use those. That's not a good color. None of these colors. This one matches. All right, so I can use this. It matches well enough. It's good enough. And let's see. Get a checklist of some sort with seven things. I don't want any of those because they are just like way off different. This one might work. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That one I think would work because it doesn't have the black around the hearts. Let me see. I think it's close enough. We're going to go with it. Let me just go ahead and do the sidebar. Because I really don't know how I'm doing it. I, I don't know what I'm going to do. I know I'm going to use this up top here. If I can get it down. Y'all, I don't understand why that I do this whenever I nap. It's like, well, it went up a little bit further than I wanted it to, but that's okay. It's fine. Um, I don't know what I'm going to use for the sidebar. Like, are these too dark? I think they're good with that. Yeah, I'll use that. And then the habit trackers. I'll just keep using these same ones for the whole sidebar. But I am grateful that he has a job, that he has a job that supports us. Um, because, I mean, some people don't have jobs. Some people don't have jobs that support them very well. And we're okay. At least right now. Let's see. I know that's not the case for everyone. And there were times in our marriage that I had to work. I worked before we were married, but um, yeah, there were times where I worked, but I don't have to now, and I'm grateful for that. Well, I mean, I do YouTube, which is work. I do housework. I do, but I'm not working outside the home. I put it that way. I just, I cannot get this straight. And actually, what I do, being a homemaker is what I've always wanted to do. Okay, this is going to be too big. So, I'm going to put it here. And I'm just going to put this one in that says, Be Thankful Always. I may end up putting that one back in the book where it came from like just not use it at all because I think that's good all right so now we're gonna do the other parts 
let's see I was thinking this one this one and this one because I really don't have any other colors that will work very well am I gonna use tweezers to do this I don't know or maybe I'll just use these three top ones and use this silver color too or whatever this is I don't know what color it is it's a color that seems to work at least so far it's working out and um, Jeff will be off work this whole week do I need to note that somehow I don't know if I do or not I mean it's on my monthly noted there so I don't think I need to note it on this I think it'll be fine without it okay I thought that these colors because there's so many oranges in the leaves and stuff that it would be better to not have orange on the headers so i didn't i probably do have some orange headers or something red or something you know that i could find in my stuff but i thought well there's so much in everything else i probably don't need to do that because i think this is just going to be just like it needs to be it'll be enough and this one almost looks like it has a green tint some to it. I don't know if it's just because of it being with the other things that are green. Because you know sometimes that can happen. Or if it actually does have it. Okay, so there's that. Now I've got to figure out how I want to do these. Because I'm thinking on these two boxes here. There's another bug. Get off my stuff go away I don't want you I don't want you at all yes I talk to bugs they bug me anyway y'all okay y'all know I'm crazy it's all right laugh with me it's funny and you know it on these two boxes I thought I would use these because why not it's still fall it's not summertime it's not winter time yet it's not even, I mean, it feels like a summertime. It's not even fall yet, it seems like. The leaves are falling, but temperatures are not. <laughs> the time fell backwards, <laughs> but the temperatures are, whoo, whoo that's not fun. All right, this one says light fall candles. I thought it was cute, so I thought I would use, oh, wait. I was not ready for that. Okay. And then this one says, but I think I love fall most of all. Isn't that from like Anne of Green Gables? I'm gonna put it up. A no, I'm gonna put it in the middle. you come up there we go all right and then I got too many stickers out I wanted to be prepared I don't have anything on these two 
how are these supposed to go? I don't know. Let's do them like this. Ah, no, wait. You're too fast. Okay, so now I need to put something on this row. I don't know how this is going to look. It may be weird. Nope. Maybe this baker pie. I might do that on Friday. Oh no. I thought it would be cute. Like a layering thing. Yeah, that'll work. I think that's okay. I know I covered up part of it, but that's all right. Let's put this up here, maybe. Maybe? I don't know. Maybe not. Come back. I don't want you down there. Up there. Something. Words are not my friends. I think Noah's home. Yep. I hear his Jeep. All right. So I'm going to put that there. I'm not going to be using those. Now the alarm's going off. So I think that's it because I have something on every row. And I have my functional stuff. And I'll put in my other functionals as well. So I'm going to put it back in my planner. I think it turned out cute. What say you? You don't have to tell me. <laughs> Alright, so that is going to be it for me for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I really like to take out the sticker books and figure out the different things to do with them because you can decorate all sorts of ways with them. You don't have to be stuck in one pattern. So, you just have fun with it. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I do hope you enjoyed this. If you did, go ahead and do all the YouTube things. If you didn't, do the YouTube things anyway, and most importantly, leave me a comment down below. Tell me how you're doing, and remember, don't take any wooden nickels, and be sweet. <laughs>